What an appropriate story before I start talking about a heat wave, don't you think? Yeah, high pressure right here is going to expand and grow and just kind of meander around out here for a while. And as it does, the big winds are going to be blowing around the eastern side. And that's why the Santa Anas are going crazy in Los Angeles right now. We're keeping an eye on Tehachapi. No problems here yet. But blowing dust is a likelihood starting overnight tonight into most of Wednesday. Look at the relative humidity everywhere. Single digits in the mountains for the most part. That's bad news. Fire danger is high. Please be careful with what you're doing out there, what you throw out of your car, for example. 86. Winds are north at 9. Much warmer than yesterday. Everybody in the low to mid-80s. Tomorrow, low to mid-90s are on the way. Can you believe it? Another 10 degrees we're going to add it tomorrow. 70s in Tehachapi and upper 60s across the grapevine going over the hill, where you need both hands on the wheel because the wind advisor is in effect there till Thursday. Be careful. 87. The average is 79. The low this morning was 53. We might not even drop below 60 tonight because of the winds that will be picking up out of the east. And that brings in warm, warm air. Not bad in the valley. Take a look down south. 94 in Santa Maria, 92 in Burbank, and 85 in Santa Barbara with a lot of people without air conditioning. 91 in downtown L.A. San Diego, 91. Ouch. 86 in San Francisco. You think the Santa Ana winds are blowing? They are. And they'll continue to blow starting tonight. This is the scene by our computer model overnight, 3, 4 in the morning. You'll be asleep, but the winds will be picking up out of the east and northeast, and that'll continue all the way through, here we are, Wednesday overnight. And they stay with us into Thursday, but not as strong as Wednesday. So please be careful with the winds. If you don't want a house full of dust, close the windows, and it's getting to that time where we're going to have to test our air conditioner, especially tomorrow through Saturday. Everything starts to calm down once we get through Sunday in terms of heat. But still, it's going to be a little hot spell, heat spell, hot spell, whatever you want to call it. 82 in San Francisco tomorrow, 82 in Yosemite, 93 in Fresno, and even 92 in Sacramento. If you're traveling down south, you'll need the air conditioning. 95 at Solvang, almost 80 at Pismo Beach, 88 Santa Barbara, and a 92 for Ventura. Going to Disneyland for some strange reason during the week, it's only going to be 100. 95 in L.A., 88 Santa Monica. 60 in Big Bear, that's bearable, but Palm Springs at 99, and even San Diego, we think, again, will be in the low 90s because of the big, big wind blowing in and compressing air coming down off the mountains. It's called downsloping winds once they get over the mountain ranges, and it heats up very quickly. So the highs tomorrow, well above average, no records, but still hot. Low to mid-90s, and a northeast wind in Bakersfield at probably 15 to 25 miles per hour. Windier in the mountains, east at 35, gusting to 50 at times. 90 for Lake Isabella, mid-70s from Fraser Park over to Tehachapi. So get ready for that. Here are the desert numbers, very warm for this time of year. Low 90s California City and upper 80s to mid-80s across the board. East winds at 30 to 40 miles per hour. Air quality, unhealthy for sensitive groups. You knew that was coming. 64 tonight, clear and windy beginning after midnight. Okay. Tomorrow's high, 92, sunny wind, dust, blowing leaves, and anything else you have that's not battened down. Seven-day numbers look like this. Get ready. It's going to be a little hot for the next few days, windy through Thursday. And then we cool off Sunday and next week. How about 80s and 70s? That'll feel nice, won't it? So just, uh, you know, test the AC. Get in the pools if you have them. Neighbors with pools are a good idea, too, because it's free. Pop, most popular house in the neighborhood. It is, right. isn't it? And then we've got uh, the cool down from the mountains, too. But, you know, 80 into Hatchby for Thursday, Friday. It's going to be hot. It is. All right. We're warned. You Thanks, bet. Colin.